Hi, this is Fabio Butan, and I'm excited to be part of Humans of Telecom. Hey everyone, a very warm welcome to Humans of Telecom, the unplugged podcast. This is your host Anurag Agarwal, Chief Growth Officer at Globe Teleservices. As many of you already know by now, this podcast aims at showcasing the human side of some of the brightest and most wonderful members of the telecom community. Today we have with us a very dear ex-colleague and a very close friend of mine, someone who is extremely fun-loving and a complete party animal and comes from one of the most exciting parts of the world. Please welcome Fabio Botan, Senior Messaging Specialist at Aurelian. Fabio, welcome. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Tell us where are you based and where are you joining us today from? Uh, thanks, Anurag. Thanks for, for having me. Um, it's a pleasure and a real honor to be here with you. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, so um, uh, I'm based in France. Uh, I've been living in France uh, since uh, 2009. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm from Brazil. I uh, was born and raised in Brazil. And uh, because of my uh, dear wife, we happen to be here. Uh, so she kind of brought us here. Uh, and yeah, it's been a great experience. I mean, um, a, a new life uh, with a new family, of course, with the family and everything. So yeah, um, from, Br- from Brazil, but living in France, that's, that's me. And uh, does that mean you are married to a French lady? Uh, no, sorry um, to all my French uh, friends, but no way to marry a French lady. Uh, <laughs> being Brazilian, uh, of course, I would be married to a Brazilian lady. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I was married actually already uh, when we moved to, to France. Um, and uh, yeah, Carla, my wife, she's, uh, she's uh, Brazilian. Uh, and we came as a, was a, actually a big adventure to come into France. I mean, big challenge for, for both of us new culture, we, we didn't know even how to speak French properly. Um, it was difficult in the beginning, but I think we are kind of adapted now. Um, yeah. And uh, what brought you guys to France? Um, there is one thing that moves all men in the world, um, a woman. Um, I think that's a very, a very appealing uh, thing for, for me, um, especially because uh, the woman I, I love <laughs> So, yeah, she, she was invited, Carla is a scientist, and she was invited to, uh, to complete her uh, postdoc here in France in an international lab uh, here in Grenoble. Um, and, um, yeah, uh, basically I left everything. Um, I was working for Huawei at that moment. Um, and then I decided to stop my career, basically, and follow her, right, so she could continue her career in her field. Um, it was really nice. It was, uh, uh, I mean, when I look back now, I see that it was like a, a good decision uh, for everybody. Um, uh, looking at everything we have today and the beautiful family we managed uh, to have here in France. So that was definitely the good, uh, good decision from my side. And um, yes, uh, uh, that was the kickoff for moving away from Brazil and, and, uh, and, and starting a new life in Europe. Wonderful. And uh, what is Carla doing now? I mean, has she continued on a trajectory of being a scientist? So she continued for a while. Uh, she managed to finish uh, uh, two postdocs um, um, here in the, in the same lab. But since uh, my first kid was born, so we kind of had an agreement. So we, we thought that it would be nice to have like one of us uh, taking care of the kid and be like fully dedicated to the, to, to the family. And uh, she said, you know what? You have stopped your career first for me. So now maybe it's time for me to do the same. Um, and then, yeah, she decided to be really focused on, on, our, on our family. Uh, now she's uh, I, um, restarting, resuming um, uh, her career, but in a different way. So she will be dedicated in helping uh, young students to develop faster in the schools, in the elementary schools. So she will be kind of a system teacher and, you know, for kids with some sort of a difficulties. 
that's interesting so yeah. we have a couple which is actually decided to complement each other and support each other at the right moments in their journey yeah. i mean I, i don't think i can compliment carla in any way you know <laughs> <laughs> she i'm not sure if she did well but i'm pretty sure i did very well on my side <laughs> there's no way i can compliment carla forget it <laughs> we all try and do what we can <laughs> yeah we yeah we can try we can definitely try yeah yeah absolutely and uh, fabio so you know you you don't seem like a telecom guy you know we've interacted so many times we partied so much so tell me that uh, had fabio not taken the telecom side uh, in his professional journey what was it possible that fabio could have been doing my friend you know this is super difficult to answer because I think my first word was um engineering <laughs> when I was a kid you know I always had this in mind I always want to be like a, a an engineer not specifically of course telecom engineer but um engineering was something that um, I, I it was a passion since the beginning because my father was an engineer and I always uh I was when I was a kid of course I was always trying to help him and and do stuffs with my dad you know the kind of kid who the dad was like a big hero so that 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 is me that that is definitely me and i was trying to have the same the follow the same steps as my 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 dad did in in his life and being an engineer was something that was very natural for me um so i it happened to be telecom engineering because my real passion actually is is r&d is research and development that that's what i really like but then because it was uh, quite good in developing hardware uh, i decided to start telecoms in order to learn a bit about telecoms and then the, the rest is history i mean you know, that it was like jumping from one place to another going different telecom projects and here i am so it's difficult to 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 think about my life without having telecoms you know telecoms is a big part of my life so you saying that forever you've always taken up roles in the telecom space only Yes, yes, since since in 1998 I'm with telecom I'm engaged with telecoms even longer than my wife you know uh, <laughs> Kyla she's a bit jealous about telecoms because that's the longest relationship I have is actually with telecoms not with her but telecoms is that's it I mean most, more than <laughs> half of my life is actually dedicated to telecoms Well that's interesting because that just goes to show that uh people look different and they can be a different person so i somehow <laughs> never took you to be a telecom guy i thought you'll say a footballer or a professional beer guzzler or something if there is such a such a passion available i'll i'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you a, a secret i don't tell anyone but as a brazilian i'm a terrible football player and i'm terrible in samba so don't ever ask me to uh i mean if 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 you are in a match selecting your players i'm i'm pretty sure um that i mean I'm a good advice for you don't ever ever pick me for your team ever <laughs> i'm terrible in football i love watching football but don't invite me to play football because i'm not good <laughs> when i had my friends going to football i was the guy in the bar waiting for them i mean the after match drinks you know i was already there in the in the in the in the bar waiting for them don't worry fabio uh, your secret is safe between the two of us and the million listeners of this podcast <laughs> <laughs> cool and uh, fabio so since you said you've been married to telecom uh, tell us uh, at least one uh, very significant or impactful moment in your career something which changed your journey or you know something unexpected that happened and how has that experience been um right um i think it was when i was a um a uh, an, an, an intern and um the i was working for this company in, in doing uh, as i said r&d and then the director um called me and said for can you can you come here i need to talk to you i said oh my gosh i mean why this guy is actually i mean i'm just an intern why why he's calling me you know and then he said you know what we have all our engineers they are really busy with different projects and i have this project for you so he proposed me of course a sort of a 
equipment which will do uh, something around uh, RFID, right? Radio frequency ID. And then, I, and then he was like, can you do this? I said, of course I can. No worry. I mean, pretty easy. So what I did, and uh, I forgot to mention, but I started my career actually working with this, in the same company with my dad. And then after this meeting, I run straight to my dad and said, you know what? The director called me and he asked me to do this. I have no idea even how to start. Can you give me some tips and what to do? And then he was, of course, he was laughing and said, well, okay, of course I can. <laughs> I'll give you some samples here and, 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 um, and, uh, and, and some projects, examples that you can use in order to develop this and present to him. So basically at that day, I was, um, I mean, burning my brain in order to present something to the director. And I managed in the same day, I presented my project to him and said, listen, this is what I proposed to you. And then it was giving me some sort of a, um, um, you know, responsibility because that was my project. That was my first project, the one I was responsible for. So that was a really important point, point in my career. And uh, I, I, rem- I have this uh, feeling and, uh, and memory I mean, inside me. And that, that's, that's really something that I appreciate, you know. It was a very good moment for me. Yeah, I guess, uh, especially in the initial parts of our career, we love these victories, you know. They really yeah. bol- they bolster our belief uh, in ourselves that we've taken the right path and we can do it. <laughs> so Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the feeling. I mean, we can do it, you know. from uh, Basically, there was a moment when I moved from, like, being a kid to being an and, and now do how do in the in the telecom space you know that that was really important for me absolutely yeah. so fabio tell us uh, is there something which our listeners don't know about you something uh, which you can share with us which most of the people in the telecom space might not be knowing about you um yes yes there's something that uh, i i think you uh, there, there's only few people um very close people that know um I have a very uh, strong relationship with autism. Um, uh, my son, Leonardo, which is a, 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 a blessing, a gift uh, into my life, of course, uh, he's in the autism spectrum. And uh, it's, uh, it's been an amazing journey because um, actually you need to learn um, how to deal with the autism. You know, it's not... You know, most of people, they think that this is like a disease. No, it's not a disease. It's actually how someone is. So you have to learn how to deal with the different, right? And um, and that actually, I believe that kind of opens even more my mind to deal with uh, different people, different kind of people. And, uh, and again, um, uh, it's amazing to have someone, to have him uh, at our side and... Uh, because with his uh, autism, it came a lot of different gifts. For example, Leonardo has perfect pitch. So if you tap like two glasses together, he can tell you, okay, this is like a, a B flat or whatever, you know. This is how good he is. And uh, he's a brilliant. He's like a genius, you know. And uh, I will never be like him. But at the same time, I need to adapt myself as I would adapt myself to any other occasion. But I need to adapt myself, of course, and uh, you want to be closer and understand um, his uh, way of being, you know. So that's um, that's something that I don't think most of my f- telecom friends uh, they know about me. I have to say, and it's, it's something I don't hide, Anurag. It's uh, it's something that I'm pretty proud of, actually, of uh, saying. Um, um, of course, both of my kids are lovely, right? But it's a special um, thing about. My family, yeah. Fabio, this is uh, this is quite touching, and and really, I uh, I agree. I mean, we've been colleagues for so many years in the same company, and met in uh, so many different events. But this is something which I didn't know about. I'm sure a lot of people don't know about, and uh, we all know that you know, uh, as humans, we all are facing our own struggles, whether they are struggles of uh, our own personal aspects or something related to the family and the community around us. So I uh, hats off to you guys. It's it's amazing that, you know, I, I can feel that love and passion in your voice when you talk about this. And I really hope that uh, through this message, uh, you know, the listeners are able to gain that inspiration and confidence to deal with their challenges also. 
No, definitely. I would love to even share experience with uh, with other uh, people. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one in this in this community um, uh, with um, um, a very close experience with autism. And um, yes, I'm, I'm very open to to discuss and talk about it. Again, it's not something I want to hide or I'm trying to hide. It seems that I never had the opportunity to talk about it. So I appreciate. It. Thanks, Anurag, for that. Thanks for that. Thanks, Fabio. So, Fabio, uh, tell us how do you recharge yourself? What What are your passion areas? I know that you are awesome at partying, but what is something that really keeps Fabio in the groove? <laughs> I'm not sure about partying, though. <laughs> uh, I'm getting old, my friend. I'm not sure if I. <laughs> People who people who don't know you, they 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 might still believe you, but those who know you know exactly how you are. <laughs> okay, okay, let's uh, let's keep it this way then. Um, yeah, you know what? There's something I'm, uh, I really enjoy is actually like uh, barbecuing and uh, um, and having a beer, and that that's that's what I like. I think uh, most of the people will, uh, will will understand my point here. Uh, but yes, that's um, I spending time with my family and friends. Um, I'm around a barbecue uh, uh, in a, in outdoors. Uh, that's something I really like. Um, traveling, of course, it's something that I think all of us, uh, especially in the telecom industry, we like. And um, now I'm exploring more camping as well, going a bit on the uh, different adventures. And uh, I'm doing this for my kids. I have to say. Um, but I'm really enjoying. I'm really enjoying, you know, um, hiking and those kind of stuff. We don't have that in Brazil, so uh, uh, here in Europe, this is quite common and quite new for me yet. So yeah, this is how I think I can uh, recharge my batteries and uh, be prepared for a uh, a quite busy week, you know. So Fabio, you are really starting to sound like Fabio, the family man, and. You know, again, we've interacted so much and I could never imagine that would be your tagline. But that's amazing. Yeah, I think it's a good set of stuff which is keeping you with that balanced life which we all yearn for. Yeah, believe me, if I could bring my family to the conference, I would do it. I'm not sure if they were proud of the Fabio, the conference style Fabio, you know, but I would do it. <laughs> so that's exactly what this podcast is about, you know. We, we've always seen that side of Fabio and it's amazing yeah. to hear this side of Fabio as well. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, cool. So Fabio, we move to our next section. Uh, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and uh, sure. I want you to be honest, genuine, be human and tell me whatever comes to your mind immediately. So I'm going to say a couple of words and we'll talk about them. So uh, telecom. Passion. It's a real passion for me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you did mention that uh, in the beginning. You're married to telecom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I am. I am. <laughs> okay. Brazil. Home. It still feels home for me brazil yeah uh-huh family everything family is everything for me i mean I, everything i do every decision i take is uh, is uh, is because of them thinking about them that's that's it best friend kids my <laughs> kids they're my best friend awesome and finally uh, podcasts uh, so all my excuses, two words here, good timing. I really like podcasts. Uh, I, I used to work listening to podcasts. Um, so good timing is the, <laughs> what I put for podcasts. Wonderful. So Fabio, now I'm going to ask you that, uh, tell me two truths and a lie. Uh, let's see. Uh, already, you know, I'm, I'm learning so many new things about Fabio. So let's see if I can actually guess the lie out here. You know, like if you'd have said, I'm a family man, I would have said, that's the lie. And now I know that's, that's anything else could be a lie, but that. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Uh, tell us two truths and a lie. And let me see if I can guess the lie. Okay, let's go. Um, I will start with one uh, very close to you, Anunag. Um, I've never been in India. That's the statement number one. Okay. Number two is, uh, as a Brazilian, I love caipirinha, you know, the famous Brazilian cocktail. And statement uh, number three is that I lived in Africa some time ago. So now, what do you think? 
I'm pretty sure you've not come to India. Uh, I think you like every single edible thing on earth. So I am sh- quite sure the second thing is also the truth. Um, you've never been to Africa? No, I said I live in Africa. I mean, so. I mean yeah, you've never lived in Africa uh, even briefly. Yeah. So I think that's the lie. Uh, actually, no. I live in Africa. I live in Angola. Um, when I moved to France, uh, I, w- I, I didn't have any job here. So um, I basically, I, I moved to Angola for a project. So I stay in Angola for a few months. So I live in, in Africa. Yes, that's true. The thing is, I don't like Caipirinha. <laughs> I got you on this. <laughs> I'm not... You know, I'm a beer. I'm a beer guy, Anurag. I mean, I, I, Caipirinha and all this uh, sweet kind of drinks and cocktails is not really my thing. So, in spite of the fact that I'm a Brazilian, Caipirinha is not my thing. Sorry, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You once again got me. And uh, are you fond of movies? Is there any one movie, if you know, which is your favorite one? If, is there a character you would have loved to play? So I'm, uh, that's my uh, geek side. I'm not really geek, but uh, yes, I uh, love Star Wars movie. Uh, but not the Disney one, those, uh, please. Uh, the real Star Wars, you know, uh, one to six. Those are the ones I really like. And I'm a super big fan of Yoda. Um, I mean, that, that scene of Yoda uh, against uh, Count Dooku, that was something. That was really... <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, give me chills even to think about it. Really like that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, much as I have a deep admiration and respect for that series, sadly, I've yet not been able to get along to watching it. So, I, I mean, do... I, uh, that's affecting our friendship. You know that. <laughs> uh, maybe we need to stop this podcast right now. Uh, I'm not sure if I can continue after that. <laughs> you really need to go after that. You just close everything, you go to whatever Netflix or whatever, go and watch it, go and watch it. And then we can continue this conversation, you know. (laughs) (laughs) So guys, I guess it's uh, two in the morning right now for me in India. And uh, Fabio, I think uh, uh, maybe by the time you'll wake up, I might have just, you know, binged watched the entire series. So let's see. Though I don't think I can. I think binge watching six movies will take a lot longer. But I think when we meet... (laughs) At the next conference, uh, I'll good. be able to give you a run for the money. <laughs> that, 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 that's your homework, Anurag, okay? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. All right, Fabio, we are at the fag end of this conversation. It's, I'm actually sad because it's, I'm really having a lot of fun out here. So, uh, Fabio, uh, you said that, you know, you, you're fond of travel and uh, I'm sure you're hopping around this year also. So, if anybody wants to meet Fabio, wants to discuss Star Wars or talk about some of the more serious aspects you spoke about or yeah. you, you want to play a match of football together, where, where definitely <laughs> they'll win. So where can one find Fabio in the coming few months? Right. So, um, uh, yeah, this year we are, uh, I'm putting in some um, additional uh, focus on, uh, on the LATAM uh, region. So I'm, I'm attending AWC in, in Miami uh, next month. But also I'm uh, super happy that I was uh, selected as a speaker in the ISA conference in San Francisco, which is uh, one of the biggest cyber security events. So I'm super happy uh, about that. So being in San Francisco in the end of April, um, and then, of course, uh, I'll try my best to, to join um, um, some conferences around SMA. So the next was, not, not this one in Vancouver, but the, the, the one in Croatia, I hope will be there. Uh, but yeah, in the next months, uh, uh, basically in USA, <laughs> I never heard about <laughs> I never thought I would say that. But yes, uh, I'll be in USA for the next uh, coming uh, conferences. Awesome. And I really hope that we can cross paths soon because after yeah. watching all the Star Wars, I do need to show off my knowledge to someone, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and I, I know, and of co- I'll, I'll put some questions for you. I'll send you a questionnaire about, uh, you know, Star Wars just to see if we really watch it them or not, you know. Done deal, you, you'll done be deal. tested. You'll be tested, my friend. <laughs> awesome. All right. So a final question for you, Fabio, and uh, this is our signature question. So 
what does being human mean to fabio what sort of a human being would you want the world to remember you as well um uh, okay um as a uh, 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 I think this is this is difficult to answer in a, in a short question. But being human for me is um, um, as a Christian, I believe that being human is uh, um, basically you can put like in a single word, which is love. Right? If you if you are able to love everybody, I mean, as your brother, as your sister, and uh, and treat everybody in the same way, I think that's the being. That's uh, it's it's being human, not not being human, but being good human, being what really um, the nature and God wants for you. You know that's 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 what being human means for me. So if you are in a position where you you can share everything you know, share your knowledge, and help people, that's how I. Uh, I think being human uh, it should be. And also, this is how I want to be remembered um, uh, as, you know, like uh, someone who was always open to share everything I know and uh, and uh, be ready to help. That's that's what I really want. But from my kids, since I talk a lot about my kids and my family, I really want to be remembered as a good dad, you know? So if they, uh, I mean, my <laughs> if they have their own kids, they would look behind and say, you know what? My dad was awesome. My dad was a really nice guy and uh, he did everything for us. That's, that's how I want to be remembered as well. That's it, Tanurai. I hope I managed to, to explain myself after a glass of wine, you know. <laughs> I think that that was some fabulous stuff you mentioned out there, Fabio. And uh, it's, it's amazing what, what you're doing uh, today, what, uh, the way you're managing your family. Uh, I think the listeners will remember you definitely for that. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure catching up with you, Fabio. And uh, I do hope I get a chance to sometime visit Paris, uh, visit France, see you somewhere. And if not that, um, I do hope that we do cross paths somewhere soon. Uh, absolutely. And I think, we, of course, we will... I hope to see you soon again. And uh, thanks a lot again for this um, uh, great time. Uh, <laughs> it was a great way to... To close my 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 Saturday with you. Thank you so much, and it was really nice. I really enjoy. It. Thank you, thank you so much, Fabio, and uh, to all our wonderful listeners here. Thanks a lot for tuning into the show. We really hope that this episode gave you a good glimpse of the human side of Fabio. I personally learned so much about him, in spite of having known him for so many years. And I'm sure many of the other listeners who know Fabio well have worked with him in some or the other capacity have today witnessed another facet, another side of Fabio. We shall soon be coming out with yet another episode and another compelling story from the telecom space. So stay tuned in and do follow this podcast on your preferred streaming channel. On behalf of Humans of Telecom, this is your host Anurag Agarwal signing off for now. Take care.